Hello, my name is Lisa Hayes. I am the Love Whisperer. And today I want to talk to you about a law of attraction subject. Um, it's a law of attraction subject that I think is near and dear to a lot of our hearts, or at least it should be near and dear to a lot of our hearts, which is dominant vibration. So for about a thousand reasons, which we could get into with the science, but I'll spare you because it's kind of boring for most people. Dominant vibration rules the day. And what that means is the sum total of everything you are vibrating about everything. So what a lot of people tend to do with a law of attraction or they try to do is they try to rehab their negative thoughts on a difficult subject. So let's just imagine money. Like you're having money problems, you're feeling a little bit tight, so you try really, really hard to think positive thoughts about money. And that might work. But it's the hardest way to raise your dominant vibration. And your dominant vibration affects everything. It affects the way you're experiencing your health and your relationships and your money and everything else. I think it's the most difficult way to approach law of attraction, which is focusing on the thing that you're struggling with the most and trying really, really hard to wrangle your thoughts around that one sticky subject. So what do you do? I mean. You don't want to be stuck in a pattern of negative thoughts about money or whatever it is that's bothering you. I think the easiest way to manage those negative thoughts is not to manage them at all. Like, get off of it. You can't be thinking about money while you're thinking awesome thoughts about something else. Stop concentrating to the best of your ability on the thing that's bugging you. And maybe even more so, stop concentrating on trying to fix your shitty thoughts. Instead, concentrate really intently on all the other wonderful things that are going on in your life. There's a lot of wonderful things going on in your life. I mean, I talk about this all the time. Gratitude is a little bit sticky. Like, gratitude can be something that feels a little supplicating. You usually have to be experiencing or have something to be grateful for it. But appreciation is a high-octane version of gratitude when it comes to shifting your dominant vibration. And you can find something to appreciate right now, anywhere. So that is my tip for you. Like if you're trying really hard to work your thoughts about a subject that's really, really sticky for you, knock that off. Don't do it. And start really dialing down on delicious, wonderful thoughts about things that are going on or things that you can appreciate that may not even be going on, but that you can appreciate from afar that you really like. Because when you shift the focus of your thoughts to those things, rather than trying to fight yourself over your shitty thoughts, your dominant vibration goes up. It's the saying, what is it? A rising tide rises all the boats or something like that, but it's true. If you can get off the subject that's bugging you the most and concentrate on subjects that delight and inspire you, the thing that's bugging you the most is going to shift and transform before you know it anyway. So, big love to you.